day it's been. Oh, I was with the grandchildren. I went to the discount grocery store. And it's Cheat Meal Monday. What in the world am I going to make? I hope you stay tuned. From the diary of my grandma Fanny, June 25th, 1942. Today we finished thrashing the barley and finished <laughs> making hay. Very hot all week. Now this one was a cute entry. And welcome to Cheat Meal Monday. <sighs> What do you do when you're busy all day, running here and running there and getting all your chores done and it's time to eat? What do you do? Today I'm going to share with you a cheat meal Monday that's sure to please and make it in a hurry. So what do you do? Your house is a mess. You have so many chores to do. You just got home and everybody's saying, Mom, we're hungry. Well, today I'm going to share with you a meal that's really quick. And I'm going to use my Instapot today. So let's get started. One thing about the Instapot is you can cook food really quickly. And it uses pressure, like a pressure canner. And it makes meat so tender. I at the grocery store, at the discount store, I got all of this chicken breast for $3.99. And it is five of them. This is the hormone free and no antibiotics chicken. So what we're going to do is all we do is throw the chicken into the Instapot. So we're going to just put our chicken in the Instapot and you could use it in the crock pot if you want it in the crock pot. But I don't have all day to get food on the table and so then it's when I pull out my Instapot. Like I said in previous videos, I don't use the Instapot that often. I will use it for cooking up meat and for things like that. I really haven't had the time to really get into cooking more with it. So I'm hoping by the fall I will be able to have some more time that I can actually research how to use it better. But Instapot was given to me by a group of friends here on the internet back in November. So I'm so appreciative of it and I cannot wait to share with you more videos using it. So we're going to use my homemade barbecue sauce. Now it's quite thin and I have it thin for marinating. So we're going to pour that over top of the chicken. Here we go, it's the chicken and all of the barbecue sauce. And that's all we add to it. We're going to put our lid on it. Lock it into place. Turn it on and all we have to do is go to the setting where it shows poultry. And there we go. We want to make sure the vent is locked. Field position, which it is. So the chicken pretty much it's making itself and I got some corn on the cob. So I'm going to go ahead and make all of these ears and what we don't eat I'm going to cut it off the cob and have it this week for some corn salsa. So I'm going to go ahead and we are going to cook the corn as well. <laughs> and when everything is finished I'll get back to you and show you what it looks like. Canning. Cooking. Going to the grocery store. It's a lot of work. I'm going to share with you what I got today at the local discount grocery store and while the food is cooking. So let's get started. First I want to show you what Lisa, a subscriber, gave me. She saw it at a yard sale and thought this is Tessie. Take a look. It is the cute little gingerbread men and the gingerbread men little tablespoon. Teaspoons. So cute. 
you're going to be seeing these in a lot of my videos because I love anything that has to do with a gingerbread man. Upcoming video is making rose flower jelly. So let's get started. Brussels sprouts, fresh, on sale for $1.29 a bag. So we got two of them. Because my garden isn't ready yet, nothing is producing until probably the middle of July. Little cucumbers for 99 cents, organic. Two pound block of cheese for four dollars and 49 cents. So we're gonna shred this up. Some cream cheese for a dollar twenty-nine. I got a bunch of tomatoes because we are going to be using these in some videos. Plus, we really like tomatoes. And these were hot house tomatoes. I got all of these for four dollars. Strawberries for 99 cents. Sweet by Della Onions for three pound bag for $1.99. I got some bread for something that we're making and bagels. Most of you know every morning I eat a bagel with cream cheese. So we got bagels. Mrs. Wages, I got it for 99 cents liquid pectin. So I'll use this for next year. Some bacon ranch dressing. We got little chips for our cheat meal Monday to go with our meal. There you go my friends. It was all around $33 and I got all of this fresh food. <sighs> so we will put this away and I will do some chores and then I'll get back to you with Cheat Meal Monday's final food and what it looks like. So, 20 minutes later, I got a lot of chores done. I washed my floor and I'm working on some laundry and I'm trying to clean up around the house. And that gave me a little time to get the chicken finished. So I'm gonna share with you what it looks like. Here is the chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and pour all the chicken into this kettle with the juice. That's what it looks like. It's really good, yummy, yummy. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna break up all of this chicken up to make it really fine. Now the more I break this chicken up, the more it's soaking up all of this broth or barbecue sauce. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drain a little of the sauce and I'll show you what it looks like. All that I had to do is just drain a little of the liquid off and it is perfect and it's ready to eat. Barbecue chicken on our sub roll. A fresh slice of tomato some garden lettuce, and some of my homemade relish. And a little of my homemade spices of garlic powder and Parmesan cheese and parsley. And we'll add some of my Martin's chips. We have corn on the cob, a little bag of chips for 25 cents, and our sandwich. This is something that's sure to please. Mm -mm. That. that is really good, my friends. I hope you give it a try and make some barbecue chicken sandwiches tonight. Yum, yum. Thank you, everyone, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.